Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass the Algebra 2 Common Core Regents. We're doing this one question at a time. Here is question 30. Visible light can be represented by sinusoidal waves. So sinusoidal, we know we're going to be dealing with trig functions, specifically uh, sine functions. Three visible light waves are shown in the graph below. The midline of each wave is labeled L. So this is the midline of each wave label, but we kind of think of this as the x-axis, right? Uh, based on the graph, which white light wave has the longest period? So we're looking for the longest period. So just a reminder about what the period is. Let's write that out. The period is the, the x value slash the length of one cycle. And in this case, one sine cycle. And you find it usually by, it's found, not that we can do it in this example, but it's found by doing 2 pi over the frequency. The absolute value of 2 pi over the frequency. So if we're looking for the longest length of one cycle, so we want the line that has the longest length. So it has, it takes the longest amount of the long, longest amount of time for one cycle to to happen. So if we look at this, this looks like a much shorter line. This looks like the shortest one, this dotted line one. And the most stretched out looking line is this line C here. So that's just me eyeballing it and seeing that that would be the answer. But if we wanted to do this right and you want to back up your answer because it, it asks us to justify our answer, um, one way to do that is to measure the distance between the minimum and the maximum points for each line. So if we look at line A and we want to measure the distance between the minimum and the maximum here. So we have over here, this is 340. We're getting the x values at the minimum and maximum points and finding the difference between the two. So right here for line A, this is 340 nanometers minus now the maximum point here looks like it's at 60. So if we subtract these we get 280. Okay, so we're going to keep going. So the difference here is 280 nanometers. So let's try line B. So what we're doing is we're, we want to find the line with the biggest distance. So we're going to find the distance between lines A and line B and line C, and then we're going to compare the three. So up next we have line B, this dotted line here. So up here we have 400 minus the maximum point over here, which looks like it's 180. Subtract these and we get 220. So already line A has a longer period than line B. So let's see line C if my doing this by sight worked. So up here we have 380. And then our lowest point over here we have 60. This gives us 320. So notice, notice the, the longest line the longest period we have that takes up the most amount of line L, or you could think of it as the x-axis, is line C. So line C is our answer. And that's our answer. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating!